Welcome family, friends, and kingdom. Thank you for joining my channel today. The scripture that I'm going to be coming from, it can apply to anybody's life, but my main focus in this video is really more for single mothers. I have a word and, and some encouragement for single mothers today. Now, this applies to all single mothers, but I'm even more specifically applying this to those single mothers that's going through like that the first year of being a mother going you know those dealing with their first year of motherhood those single mothers who are not you know not in a relationship with their with their children's father um they kind of going through this mother her motherhood journey you feel defeated you feel discouraged you feel like you're in this alone whether or not the father is in the picture or not this message is directly for you because I know how this feels and I know how it feels to feel like you're, you're in this by yourself, you're struggling, you know, it's hard, you know, you feel like, why does this have to be me? Why does this have to be my reality? Why do I have to go through this? Those that the devil is trying to put in, put this, this idea in your mind of why didn't I abort my baby? I should have just went on with my life. This message is really for you. Like I said, this message can be for anybody. But I'm specifically talking to those mothers right now that's still going through that those first couple of months, that first year of motherhood. And these are all the feelings that you're facing. These are all the feelings that you have, you know, coming into this journey of motherhood, going through this, being a single mother, going through this alone. Now, I'm about to be real relatable with y'all real quick, right? Now, a lot of y'all, y'all already know what I'm talking about. The show Insecure, right? It, it just recently ended. For those that don't know the show, for those that do know the show, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about when I say what I say. But I'm going to just get into it and, and explain it. So, the show Insecure, basically, for those that don't know, um, this latest season, there are two characters, Condola and Lawrence. And pretty much... Um, there were a few episodes where they were showing their co-parent relationship. Now, the thing with Condola and Lawrence, they were a couple. They broke up. Condola found out that she was pregnant. So now they're pretty much, um, they're pretty much coming into a co-parentship, not being together. You know, Lawrence really didn't want her to have the baby. She still decided that she wanted to have the baby because that was her decision. That's what she wanted to do. So the show is was pretty much showing us like what their co-parentship journey was what ended up happening once she had the baby so there was this specific episode right where that it was like a picture right it was like a visual you had condola on one side and then you had lawrence on the other side right and so on one side you see condola it's basically showing like a side-by-side -side picture of what both of them are dealing with in life right like they're both of their lives his this is lawrence what's going on in his life this is condola what's going on in her life and on condola's side you see her just she's because she's raising the baby by herself right on, on her end she she doesn't have a man that's in the house the father is not you know really around he lives out of town so she's kind of doing all this by herself and so her, on her end you see the sleepless night you see her sitting on the toilet just looking sad looking like you know what did i get myself into this is hard you see the baby crying at three o'clock in the morning now she's waking up and she got to get up and 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 feed the baby she got to get up she's her eyes she got black she got black circles under her eyes because she's so tired. She laying over the sink because it's just, woe is me. She's just going, you know, us as mothers, we all know what that is like. You know, whether you're a single mother or not, you know, having a baby is a lot of work, right? So you see that side, you see what's going on with Condola. And then on the other side, this is the father. This is the child's father. You see him just living his best one. You see him on the other side. He's just... He got a promotion at work. He having sex. He going out partying. He kicking it. He looking good. And like I said, you got condola on the other side. She just looks so sad and tired. She's doing this by herself. She's with the baby and all of that, right? You know, you got condola on one side cleaning bottles. You got Lawrence on the other side popping bottles. You know what I mean? And so I just, I really love that, you know, that they showed that that picture because that is the reality. That is how it is sometimes, right? The mother is over here doing all the work and, you know, having these sleepless nights. And then the father is over here, you know, pretty much going on with their life, doing, doing whatever they want to do, right? And so I specifically use this example because this is exactly what the devil does. The devil is a deceiver. He is a devil of visual. He is a devil of picture. Now, 
being a single mother and thinking about that, right? Thinking about that picture, right? Thinking about like, man, this is my life. I just feel so stressed out. I feel like, you know, this is like not the life that I wanted. I feel like I'm just so defeated that I'm dealing with this by myself. And then you be sitting over there thinking about the child's father, thinking that, oh, he got it good. He got it good because he able to come and go as he want. He able to do what he want. He's not helping like I would want him to be helping. That's the exact picture that the devil wants you to have. He wants you to look at pictures like that. He wants you to look at things like that so that you may be defeated, so that you may be discouraged, so that you may feel hopeless and think that you're never going to be happy, that, oh, this is just your life now. Now you're a single mom. You're going to always be in the house with your with your child. You ain't going to never uh, get out and live life again. You're not going to never have a good life. This is just what it is. This is who you are. And this is where you stuck being. That's exactly what he wants you to think. That's the exact visual that he wants you to have. But let me tell you what the Lord said. Focus not on the things that are seen, but focus on the things that are not seen. For the things that are seen are temporal. They're temporary. But the things that are not seen are eternal. I'm here to encourage you today. Whatever it looks like right now, however that picture that you have in your mind, that you stuck, that you should have aborted your baby, that life is never going to change around, that you just so, you know, you, you, you so discouraged by being a single mom. This is all you ever going to have. You don't have a future. I'm here to tell you today. Don't focus on that. That's what the that's exactly what the devil wants you to focus on. Do not focus on the things that are seen. You today, you gotta focus on what's not seen. That's where your hope is gonna come from. You have hope in the future. You have hope in what you don't see because it is going to get better. I'm here to let you know it will get better. Your life is going to go on. The Lord, He blessed you with this child or children, you know, if you have multiple children, he would have never given you this blessing if he didn't think that you could handle it. He has more to this is not your life. This this is this yes, you have a baby now, but this is this is your story continues. There's more to come. There's going to be more opportunities. At some point, you're going to meet somebody. God is going to bring you somebody that's going to be an awesome stepdad. That's going to be an awesome, you know, help in your life. And and even if he doesn't, even if that doesn't come for a long time from now, you still going to be okay. You're still going to be okay. God has so much more to show you. And that's exactly why he tells you don't focus on what it looks like today. Don't focus on what it looks like right now. Because the things that's happening now, the things that's going on now, it's temporary, baby. It's only temporary. You don't even know what's to come. And also, don't focus on him. Don't focus on the child's father. Don't sit over there thinking that, oh, he just, he he's exempt and he's just living his best life. He ain't got to deal with this stuff that I'm dealing with. That's, that applies. That applies to that scripture as well. Don't focus on what's going on. Don't focus on the things that you see because it's temporary. You don't know how God is dealing with your child's father or your children's father. You don't know what's going on over there. They might be all on, on Facebook and, and all on social media painting a completely different picture. But behind closed doors, you don't know what's going on. They miserable. They got stuff going on in their life. You don't know. And I'm not telling you to, to focus on negative things about your, your child's father. I'm not telling you to wish nothing bad against them. All I'm saying is don't focus on that. You can't focus on that because you never know. And even if that ain't what's going on, even if that's not what's going on, you can't focus on him or what none of that stuff is going on on his side. You got to focus on you and focus on exactly what the, what the Lord says in his word. Don't focus on what it looks like. Don't focus on the fact that it seems like you going through this and your, your child's father is not dealing with anything. Don't, don't, don't focus on him at all. Don't focus on him at all. Focus on yourself. Focus on exactly what the Lord says in his word. Focus on what you can't see. Now, how do you focus on the things that you can't see? I know it's hard to think about. Like, well, I, I don't, I can't see it. I can't see it. How am I supposed to focus on what I can't see? That's where your hope is coming from. You have hope. 
that there is more to see. You have hope that there is more to come. Do not let the devil, do not let the devil paint this picture for you. This is exactly what he wants to do. Trust me, I have been there. I have been there. I know exactly how it feels. You know, just you just feel so hopeless. You just feel like, you know, what's coming? What's coming for me? Like, this can't be my life. You know what I mean? And, you know, use this year, use this, this, this first year, even for those that's, that's already been, you know, been a mom and, and going through motherhood for years now, you still feel like it's a struggle. Being a mom, even more so being a single mom, it is not supposed to be hard and it should not be hard. And this is exactly why the Lord wants you to put your trust in him and focus on him because he's going to provide for you. He's going to be there for you. He's going to open up doors for you to make it so where that is not hard for you. Being a single mother, being a mom is not supposed to be hard. It's not. We make it hard because of the stigma. We make it hard because we feel like things are supposed to Things are supposed to be a certain way. And because it's not that way, oh, it's woe is me. And, oh, I'm struggling. I wish I had help. God is your help, baby. God is your help. That's what I'm saying. If, if you're dealing with your, your, with your child's father and they're not in the picture, they're not doing anything, they don't even need to be in the picture, quite honestly. Quite honestly, they don't. You got this. Don't focus on what it looks like. Don't let the devil paint that picture for you. Focus on what is unseen. Don't focus on what it looks like today. Because tomorrow it could be something completely different. Down the line, it will be something completely different. The things that's going on today is temporary. It's temporal. It means absolutely nothing. Because there is more. It is so much more to come. It is so much more that the, that the Lord is going to do in your life. That he's going to show you. Just think about the opportunities. Think about the doors that he's going to open. Think about the people that he's going to place in your life. On your path. It's so much more to come. And the things that you don't even see today. The things that you don't see. Those are the eternal things. Those are the, the is that's the happiness that's coming. That's the blessings that's coming. That's the things that the Lord is gonna do in your life that is not gonna change. That's what you're gonna always have. You're gonna always have joy in your heart. You're gonna always have happiness. You're gonna always be in a place where you're blessed because of where He's taking you, where He's leading you. Thank you for watching.